Good morning and uh, welcome to the Monday Motivator. If it's your first time here joining us um, uh, from Fit Farms, then um, welcome. My name is Julie Sutherland, I'm Program Director of Fit Farms and I'm here to help motivate you for the week ahead. Um, motivate you to move closer to your goals, motivate you to stay on track, motivate you to lead basically a healthier, happier life. Um, if you're rejoining us, then welcome back. And um, wow, I mean, today it's uh, Monday morning after what has been possibly just a, one of the most momentous weekends ever in British sporting history. And I don't know about you, but I've just been inspired. And I also most felt like this morning, wow, do you actually need any motivation? Because what more motivation could you need than what we've just seen this weekend? But um, as usual, when I'm, I'm, I'm watching something like that and I'm thinking, you know, how does this apply? How can we apply it in um, our everyday life? And it, it made me think about um, one of my favourite sayings that I ever heard, um, which was from Gandhi which was, be the change you want to be in the world, be the change you want to see in the world. And um, it made me think, actually, you know, we're all role models. You know, I, I put that post on the other day, which did, um, it seemed to strike a chord with a lot of people. Um, we all want good role models, so um, we all want them for our children, but actually we can try and influence other people, but the one thing that we've got the most influence over is ourselves. And actually, we're all model role models in one shape or form. Um, and believe it or not, we're all influencing people almost every hour of the day, whether it's um, our children, whether it's our loved ones, our family, our friends, um, the guy you bump into in the tube, the woman who um, serves you your um, croissant at the bakery in the morning, or your your porridge wherever you are, the people you interact with at work. We're constantly influencing other people with our energy and with our attitude, with our values, with how we see the world. Um, our energy is infectious. I often use the term that you can either be a radiator so um, you can help build people's energy up, give them more energy just from being around you, or you're a drain, so you're actually a drain on people's energy when you want to, when you come into contact with them, and well, I know which I want to be, I want to be a radiator, um, but you know, it's up to you, but we're constantly communicating, and um, so I want you to think about this week as a little bit of motivation, different to your usual ones, but you know, who are you influencing, and what impact do you want to have on them? What legacy do you want to leave in your life? Um, you know, it's not maybe not just your children, but people you're influencing at work. Um, I believe that we owe it to those around us um, to actually look after ourselves and be the best that we can be. And um, I actually only learned this from um, not being that great at that myself. Um, I think I drove my parents to um, despair when I was younger. Um, I didn't love myself enough, basically. I didn't take care of myself. I wasn't compassionate towards myself. And um, I think I probably sent my parents um, grey earlier than they should have done um, with all the worry I put them through because they knew that I didn't have that part of me that was loving myself enough to take care of myself so they were constantly worrying what was going to happen to me and all they wanted was for me to be happy and to take care of myself and um, actually now I realise that for them um, for my partner um, for my cat even and my friends, for the people I work with, for the people that, that come on Fit Farms, I want to stay well I want to be the best that I can. I want to look after myself, not just for myself, but for them. And that's the legacy that I want to leave. That's the difference that I can make in the world. And um, hopefully that's the same for you. Um, sometimes it's not good enough motivation for us to think, you know, I'm going to do this for me. But if you need a little bit more of that, then think, well, you know, do it for somebody else. You know, what, what influence do you want to have on other people? What change do you want to see? in the world and then be that change? Do you want it to be a positive, happy world, people having good relationships with themselves, with their own bodies, with people around them, people with a positive attitude, people with energy, people that strive for more, people that believe that hard work is what gets you there. You know, who do you want to be? What impact do you want to have on this world? Um, and for me, I think it starts with 
be compassionate to yourself. Look after yourself and then those around you are going to appreciate that. They want you to take care of yourself. You know, that's what you owe them. So, um, my message for the week, be the change you want to see in the world. Take care.